everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back sharing with you some meals that I have filmed over the past probably like month, month and a half. Whenever my camera's in the kitchen and I've cooked dinner and I remember, I'll quickly get my camera out and film. So don't get me wrong, this video isn't structured very well. It's very um, rambly, like very choppy. There's not like breakfast, lunch and dinner for each day. But I filmed some meals and I've put it all together. So I thought I'd just put it all out there for you all. I would like to do another one of these in the next month or so and sort of have more structure and do breakfast, lunch and dinner like I used to. But I forget and I'm so busy all the time when I'm having meals, I forget to film it. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Leave me a comment below, let me know if you'd like to do it again. And also let me know if you'd like me to film any of these recipes. I really want to start doing like cook with me videos. Um, I don't eat fancy food and I don't eat a big variety but I enjoy what I do eat so if you'd like to see any recipes leave them below and I'll try and potentially film I can't guarantee it's going to go down very well um, I'm not the best cook <laughs> I act like I know what I'm doing but I don't but hopefully you can take some inspiration from the clips that I have filmed for you today. For my breakfast this morning, this is one of my favourite go-to breakfasts. I've either been having this or Greek yoghurt with fruit, but I'm out of Greek yoghurt at the moment. Um, so I've got some Alpen. Alpen's expensive, but to me I've tried so many different brands like Tesco or Aldi and they just don't compare to this. I don't know what it is. I've tried them all and I've actually wasted more money trying other brands than just sticking to the one that I like. Um, I only like the blue, the red is too sweet. So I've just got a bowl of Alpen with some semi-skimmed milk and then I have also got a tea as well. So that is my breakfast. So for my breakfast, I'm having some shreddies with a little bit of sugar and I've heated up my tea. And I am also watching or listening to the True Geordie podcast about the Madeleine McCann documentary on Netflix. For lunch, I started eating one just to make sure I liked my creation, and I do. So, I've been eating it. Call me a pig. I am. So, I've got a brown pitta stuffed with hummus, honey cured ham, and cucumber. Really good. Really like this. And then I've got carrots, cucumber, other way around, and leftover hummus for dipping. Doing a packed lunch today for us to go out. I know there's no consistency as to the meals that I'm showing but I'm just giving you like examples. Um, so like for example yesterday I had a cup of soup and I didn't film that. Um, so this is Pea's lunch. I don't need to show you in there but she's got her usual. And then what I've done is that I have used up things that are going out of date today. So I've got my couscous, which is from Aldi. I've got the chicken snacks, again, from Aldi. In there, I've got lettuce and cucumber. So it's not the biggest box. It's like the size of my hand. But normally, I would just do a sandwich. So that's healthy for me. Um, and then I'm just going to use the rest of this fat-free vinaigrette. I'm going to take it with me. Um, and then I'm taking a packet of crisps as well, which were from Tesco's. How many calories? 136 calories. So I would never, if I was on Swimming World, I would never normally have a packet of crisps and I'd just eat this. And then I wouldn't feel satisfied and then I'd binge because I wasn't allowing myself to eat crisps. It's a packet of crisps for Christ's sake. I'm not going to gain a stone by eating a packet of crisps. And doing it like this is going to be better than binging. I'm also taking a bottle of water and that will have lime cordial in it. I haven't put any lime in it yet but that is what I'm having for my lunch today. For lunch I have made um, a bulk load of food so it doesn't look like much but it's actually quite filling and inside you can see I've got all the quinoa. Um, I might start doing like um, a cook with me so if you want me to do like a recipe video on how I've done this don't get me wrong, it's not groundbreaking, but I really enjoy it. So I have got, I don't know if I actually need to put a little bit more salad actually. Hang on. That'll do. So I've bulk made some quinoa with um, a stock cube. And then here I've just cut up some lettuce. I just need to put some lettuce. I mean cucumber, tomatoes, parsley and peppers. I need to put um, cling film over that so I can put that back in the fridge. And then I've just shoved it all in a bowl. 
Um, it's cooled down now and I've also got some little chicken chunks in there as well and then I'm going to use this dressing from Aldi which is fat free vinaigrette and then with a little bit of salt and some water and that is my lunch. My dinner tonight it looks quite bland but it's really tasty. Um, I normally do this with, with red pepper but um, I ran out. I know, you do, I know you don't like peppers so this has just got um, yellow peppers with chicken and it's a smoked paprika and lime chicken recipe with noodles so again leave me a comment below let me know if you'd like me to do like a recipe video and then I've just got some orange juice as well so for my dinner tonight I have got boiled rice boiled in the bag broccoli I've just used leftover there's not that much there um, and then I've got cumin and lime fried chicken um, and then I'll have soy sauce on it as well here is my dinner I have got homemade cinnamon rolled chips with a chip seasoning spice on top extra lettuce and then two wraps with fried chicken cucumber, lettuce and some reggae reggae sauce. For my dinner tonight I have got a salad which is lettuce, cucumber and yellow peppers. I've got a jacket potato, yeah in a minute. I've got a jacket potato which I did in the oven with a little bit of fry light on the outside. I've got four little chicken nuggets and then I've also got some Moroccan style couscous and then for my sauce I'm going to have this Aldi honey and mustard dressing. And then I've also got a fizzy, what is it? It's like a fruit cocktail drink from Lidl. My dinner tonight, I've actually got quite a lot. I didn't mean to do as many chips as what I've done. But I've got a kid's mini pizza cut up. I like to burn my food as well, so that's why it's crispy. I've got some chips, I've got lettuce and cucumber, and then I've got this sauce from Aldi, which is a pot of honey and mustard. So it's quite warm today, so I just fancied something different. For tonight's dinner, I have got a small jacket potato with a tomato and cucumber in herbs and lime that's been marinating for a couple of hours. And then I've got Mexican chicken from Aldi and like slices and some lettuce. So that is my dinner. And then I have also got my favourite honey and mustard dressing. 